Hello guys, it's me, I'm Aradek from the Wombly. I'm the core developer here and I do front-end, back-end development and welcome in the new series when we will be talking about interview questions. I selected a lot of questions that people, that users, you and other people are asking about the technologies that we have knowledge with. Actually, we will be dividing that technologies for the few smaller movies we will be trying to tell about the technology, about that keyword. As far as we can go with whole episode and I will do it to make it the easiest to understand even for super beginners. So if you have not knowledge about programming yet, I'm sure it will be still good for you and you will get value. So you don't need a lot of programming background. You can be totally newbie. It will be really nice too. Today we will talk about here is the name of the topic that we will talk today. And remember, if you like the video, give us thumb up and subscribe the channel and turn on notifications. It's really important because you will see the next episodes as the first. Let's start. The previous step of the React JS interview questions, we talked about iteration methods where we have put some light on the for loop and for each methods. Now we can go into, I would say, one of the most popular methods that we use to iterate it and showing elements from the list. It's exactly the map method. So even if the map method is not the fastest one, it is really popular. And you can see that map method in most of projects, in a lot of parts of the code. If you are performance oriented, still don't worry. It's faster than for each, for example, and for sure is the easiest to use, the fastest to create. And map, has one more exciting feature when we can compare that method to the for each because map method returns array when for each returns an undefined value. So in some cases it's, it's useful. I would say the map method is really straightforward to use as well. Anyway, many tutorials I recommend using the index value as the unique key of the element. I would say you shouldn't do that, especially if you care about performance, because actually the problem with DOM can happen if you will start deleting and adding elements, DOM can see it's something or even changing position DOM can see something happened in the, in the DOM and can re-render. So to don't have the problem with that, you need to use a randomly generated IDs instead of the indexed one and DOM will not be re-rendering without the reason. Here you can see the some simple case how you can use map method to show the products in the welcome component. It's a function component. I hope now you know how to use map and you know the most interesting features of them. So you will be able to decide if you prefer that or loops. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. 